Okay, now let us look about uh, the chlorophyll and photosynthesis. The relation between chlorophyll and photosynthesis. So, Injun House, he found that some substance, the green color present in the plants is making the process of photosynthesis that is responsible, that is allowing the process of photosynthesis. So, that is the substance which is absorbing the energy. So, but he do not know what is that. Just he found the green color parts of plants are capable of carrying out photosynthesis. That was the proposal by Jan Ingenhouse. So, Ingenhouse told that green parts of the plant like leaves are capable of carrying out. But there were so many questions. So, all the green color parts of uh, animals or plants are able to carry out the process. But how it takes place in case of some plants like crotons, they may be having some red color or dark color, different colors on their leaves and how it is possible in their part, in their leaves. And even certain animals like birds, parrots, they have green color. Then why they are not able to do, do the photosynthesis? So that was the thing. Because by that time in the early and mid 20th century, so the substance it was not isolated or identified. So, even though this Pelletier and Cavento in 1817, they could isolate the substance chlorophyll, they were not aware of the location of the chlorophyll. So, it was not known to them what is the location of this chlorophyll, where it is located in the leaf. So, after this isolation, extraction of chlorophyll from the leaves, after this, after some six decades, that is in 1883. In this time, by the work of a scientist called as Julius von Sachs, he found the location, exact location of chlorophyll in the leaves. He observed that the chlorophyll is not spread in the entire cell of a plant. He observed that the chlorophyll is located in special organelles inside a leaf. So, the leaf is composed of different cells, epidermal cells. So, the epidermal cells, they contain some special organelles called as plastids. Plastids. So, among these plastids, certain plastids are chloroplasts. That means, which contain the chlorophyll. So, chloroplast is an organelle, cell organelle, which contain the chlorophyll. So, he observed, the Julius von Sachs, he observed that chlorophyll is a substance present inside a cell organelle called as chloroplast. So, he found that there are certain cell organelles which are holding this chlorophyll pigment. So, that was observed, observed by Julius von Sachs. Okay, now let us learn some points about the structure of the chloroplast. So, we studied that Julius von Sachs, he extracted chlorophyll, the pigment, the green substance from the leaves. So, extraction of the substance, green substance or the pigment, it is easier when compared to extraction of the chloroplast. So, to study the structure of the chloroplast, it should be extracted from the cell. But when a cell is broken, the chloroplast also breaks down. So, it was not possible to extract the total organelle. Till Daniel I. Arnon, till a scientist called as Daniel I. Arnon in 1954. Till the work of this scientist, it was not possible for the scientist to extract the chloroplast, but he could extra extract the chloroplast and study the components, the parts of the chloroplast. So, that was in 1954, he extracted the chloroplast. So, the different parts of the chloroplast, they were studied in the exact location of the chlorophyll. So, the chloroplast is the organelle which is having three membranes, three membranes. So, we can see that the outer covering is made up of two membranes, outer membrane, inner membrane. There is one more membrane inside which is forming some structures called as grana. So, here we can find the thylakoids in stacks. These are called as thylakoids. Thylakoids. So, how are these thylakoids? They are like some stacks piled up one above the other. We find some stacks. 
So these are made up of membranes called as grana. Grana. So this is the location where the pigments are located, and this is the site for absorption of sunlight. Solar energy is captured at this site. That is in the grana. But whereas the other space is filled by some fluid, the remaining space, which is filled by some fluid called as stroma. So the stroma is the site for the enzymatic reactions. Enzymatic reactions, the reactions in which the molecules like glucose is formed and the glucose is converted to starch, such kind of reactions takes place in this fluid part. Whereas the capture of light takes place in this grana, which is having the pigments on its surface. So this is the structure of chloroplast.